Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we are going to configure vSphere licenses. Notice that I'm back in my remote desktop session into my infrastructure slash jumpbox VM. Need to open a session into the vCenter appliance that we configured. It's important at this point that we're using names and not IP. So you can put the IP in here if you want to, but it's going to resolve that and start using the name. And this is why DNS was so important, because without that, this isn't going to work. Again, we get the warning about the self-signed certificate. We'll accept that. And we are going to log into vCenter server. So our name for this is going to be administrator at vSphere.local. And we'll put in the password. Again, we shouldn't be doing this from a security perspective, but just to make it easy for the labs, I'm going to save the password. And once we get in, you'll notice, uh, like you probably did with the SXI host, that we have expired or expiring licenses. We need to do something with that. So what I'm going to do is click on Menu and Administration. And once I've done that, you'll see there's a Licenses um, option over here in the Navigation pane. So I'm going to click that. It's going to say I want to add new licenses. And we need to put some license keys in. Um, so we're going to put in two. We're going to put in one for vCenter and one for our ESXi hosts. I'm just going to copy and paste those licenses. And you need to make sure you put these on separate lines. Once I have those in, I'll click on Next. And we can give these names. So again, the top one is going to be for ESXi. This one is going to be for vCenter. You can see underneath the license number, it tells you what the product is, so you know which one's which. Click on Next and Finish, and those licenses are now in. Uh, we don't have our ESXi host being managed by vCenter yet. So we'll get to that in a little bit, but what we want to do for now is also assign the vCenter license to vCenter server. So I'm going to click on Assets. Um, here is our vCenter server. You'll notice that the license right now um, is set to evaluation. Um, so I'm going to, if I select this guy, um, we can see uh, information underneath. Select Assign License, pick the vCenter license, and say OK. And we can see now that our license has an expiry date um, that it's approximately a year from now. We can also now close the warning uh, about our licenses being expired. And that is it for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.